Now then, so um, I watched Palmer's video the other day um, showcasing his, his epic scale Dark Angels. Um, it kind of got me thinking, I've got quite a lot of epic stuff that hasn't see, really seen the light of day for a good number of years now. Um, so I thought I'd quickly show you one of my armies. Um, this is one, one of my smaller armies. Um, I did open the boxes the other day of, of my uh, Space Marines. And my Eldar, uh, and they were a bit, a bit of a uh, sorry state of affairs, should we say? Um, I'm going to have to spend a bit of time repairing them and things like that before I do a video on them. But my Tau um, look quite good still, so I thought I'd show you those. But the ones I ended up using, I played all the all the iterations of Epic, um, right from the very first edition, Space Marine and Adeptus of Titanicus through 2nd edition, 3rd edition a little bit, and then Epic Armageddon, which is, you know, 4th edition, effectively. Um, yeah, so I've still got the old rule book and things. I think this was released in 2004, 2003, 2004, something like that. Uh, but it's quite a good game. Um, yeah. So what happened was, um, it was kind of discontinued by Games Workshop, uh, but the fans of the game just kind of took ownership of it uh, online. And they came up with the Net Epic Armageddon. Um, and they produced this tournament pack uh, back in 2013. Um, I think this is the most recent one. It's the most recent one I have anyway. I just printed it off. And it is essentially the, the, the rule book, but with on the bottom there all the free, frequently asked questions put into the onto the pages where it's relevant, so it's it's quite useful. Um, it's worth downloading. If you're into Epic, um, it is, it's worth worth downloading. Um, and what they also produced was, um, where is it? The Epic Minigeddon, which is only like a thousand point armies on a smaller table, and some and some different rules and army composition things for that. And they brought out the Armless Compendium. Um, I've only in here, there's loads of armies that they've been working on over the years uh, with fan input and things like that, and they've been uh, play tested and things. Um, there's de development, developmental, developmental armies, mental armies, uh, and and ones that are actually been approved for use in in the tournaments uh, in the UK um, and around the world, I, I guess. Uh, so there's Necrons in there and Tyranids and. Imperial Guard and all the rest of them, there's loads of armies. Um, the only ones I've got are the Space Marine Army, because um, that's what I've got. I, I got the Tower Armies one as well and printed that one off and put it in this book. Um, so yeah, there's a full Tower Army there. <coughs> um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll quickly show you my collection. Um, now, Games Workshop itself never really released any epic tau. Um they released some through Forged Wor Forge World, uh, which were resin. Um and for me, far too expensive, far too difficult to get hold of. Uh, and they were only released for a, a very short period of time, I believe, maybe a year or so. And I kinda missed the boat on it. So um digging around on the internet and things, I found uh, a company called Onslaught Miniatures, uh, based in the US. Uh, and they make some some miniatures for the from for their own sci-fi game, which are very similar to Tal. To be fair, that sort of manga kind of Japanese robot-y type feel to them. Um, so I'll quickly show you those now. Uh, and this is the army. Um, so I'll quickly go through it. Um, the onslaught miniatures do have their own names and things, but I'll just call them by the Tal names because I can't remember what they're called. Um, so starting at the front there, um, they're pathfinders with sniper rifles. Uh, and then gun drones, uh, two two stands of gun drones for a small detachment there, um, and then these gun drones, by the way, um, I converted. Um, when you buy the tanks, see the little pods on the side. You have the choice of putting a missile launcher pod or the gun pod, and all the spare ones I just turn them into gun drone gun drones. Put a small pin in them, and attach them to the base. Um, so that's what I did there. Uh, then we've got a. Fire Warrior unit. Um, again, these little drones are made out of the cannon, the, the missile launcher pods off these vehicles that were spare. Um, that, that's those. And then there's the, um, I can't remember what they're called, Devilfish. 
the Tau Devil Fish, but the Onslaught Miniatures are called something different. I can't remember what they're called. Apologies for that. Um, they look very much like Tau, though. I think you'll agree. Um, let's put this across slightly. Another unit of Pathfinders with gun drones. Behind them, there are the uh, the Tau Tanks. I can't remember what they're called. I'm sure it'll come back to me. But the Tau, tau Main Battle Tanks, these have got the twin fusion blasters on. And I'm sorry if I go back across. These ones have got the, the rail cannon on. Um, what were they called? Not piranhas, are they? No, I can't remember what they're called. I do apologise. Um, then we've got the Vespids. Um, little Vespid guys. So I've got two detachments of those. Um, and then behind them, now these miniatures here, these, so I'll just take my camera slightly forward. Um, these ones here are Dark Realm miniatures, Kratonian fighter aircraft. I use them as sun, sun shark bombers. Um, the kind, well, not really, but as long as everyone knows what they are, um, I think I've get, kind of got, got away with it. And then these big mechs at the back, I use those as Riptides. Yeah, Riptides. Um, I'll quickly show you one of those a little bit closer. These are pretty cool, actually. Uh, yeah, so that's what I use as my Riptides. So you've got the big plasma gun thing there and the, the twin um, Gatling cannon on one arm with the rocket pods and stuff. Um, I think it works quite well as a Riptide, to be fair. Yep, so a detachment of three of those. And then, obviously, you can't have a Tau Army without all the um, crisis suits. So these are what I use as crisis suits, and these are like these little robot -y things. Uh, each one of those, the slightly different ones with the um, with the flag on. Um, they're like the leaders, Shazwees, I think they're called. And so they're like the detachment leaders, and then this one here, the bigger one, it's painted slightly differently. It's completely red. That's my army commander, the Shazo, I think he's called. It's that. He's got like the, the combat shield thing and he's got these um, power blade on, on his arm and things like that. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's four units of those. Each base has got two on, um, as you can see. Uh, moving across, I have another six of them. Um, these are what I use as my broadsides. Um, they've just got the, the rocket pods on the shoulders and they've got the big gun arms. Um, like that. I think they're pretty cool. Um, behind them there, they're again, Dark Realm Miniatures. Um, Andreado, I think. I use those as heavy gun drones. Those ones. Um, these again are Dark Realm Miniatures. Um, Kratonian Skimmers. I use those as Piranhas and Tetras. So little ones are Tetras and the big ones are Piranhas. Um, kind of fit in. Uh, those two aircraft at the back there, um, I use those there, again from Dark Hill Miniatures, I use those as Barracudas, Barracuda Fight Bombers. And those at the back, Sun Sharks, you know, the, the skimmers with the missile launchers, these are again Dark Hill Miniatures. They're a slightly different model, but um, they work, I think. Rocket launchers on, everyone knows what they are. Yeah, so that's my kind of proxied, not Tau, Tau. Army, I think that I've got for Epic. Um, I wasn't ever happy with the the Epic bases, you know, the really thin strip bases you get. I just think they're too small and too fiddly. So I based them on these um, MDF pill bases that I got from War Bases in the UK. Uh, I think they look better like that. Um, what I did try to do is um, put some raised areas and things like that on the bases. Um, you can see it better on this one. Um, so yeah, there's like a raised area, a bit of extra MDF. Um, try and make a little scene on each base with, with the little guys on. Um, as you can see there, mega detailed little figures. Um, yeah, so that is my not Tau army. <laughs> um, thanks very much for watching. Um, what I'll do is I'll try and get the rest of my Epic stuff repaired and sorted out. Uh, so I'd like to show you it. I've um, been a big fan of Epic for a long time. Um, be great if it came back. Anyway, speak to you soon. Bye-bye.